To edit an event that has already been created, click on the event and you'll see a pop-up window appear beside it. This pop-up will summarize all of the important information about your event. To edit the event, click on the Edit Event icon, and then you'll be able to change the details for this event. Another option is you can also double-click on the event, and it will bring you directly to the Edit Event screen. Today I've decided I won't be able to meet with Brittany in person, so I'm going to change the event to include a Google Meet video conferencing link. Once you've made your changes, press Save. If you would like to make this change for all of the events in the series, press all of the events. For this example, I only need to add this link for today's meeting. So I'm going to press this event and press OK. Additionally, another pop-up window will appear asking if you would like to send an updated email telling the invited guests that you have made a change to the event. To send an email to the invited guests, press send. If you would not like to send an email, press Don't Send. To delete an event, click on the event in Calendar View. A pop-up window will appear beside it. Then go to the Delete Event icon at the top corner of the pop-up. Once you've pressed the Delete icon, a pop-up window will appear, asking if you would like to delete this event, this and the rest of the events in the series, or all of the events in the series. I would just like to delete this one event in the series. So I will leave it at this event and press OK. Now a second window will pop up. It's asking if you would like to send a cancellation email to the calendar guests that you've invited to this event. If you'd like to send a cancellation email, press send. If you don't want to send a cancellation email, press don't send. Now, as you can see, I've only deleted the event for Monday, December 27th. 